Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Aaron Housingay. And I'm Skylar Zimney. And, you know, I've always wanted to visit a college campus, but I've never gotten the chance to. Well, lucky for you, coming up on today's show, we have information how you can visit a college campus with the school. And we also have information on how you could play basketball for a great cause. All that and much more, because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back to Neva, and here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, March 22nd, 2017. Hoops for, for Heart is in all PE classes. If you want to be one of the lucky students participating in the three-on-three -three basketball tournament, make sure to buy a shirt for $15 or buy a shirt and socks for only $15. You can donate at lunch or in the PE offices. All sophomores and juniors, you have the option to visit a college early. The counseling department is hosting two college field trips in April to Lavonzi Community College and Sugar Grove Campus on Thursday, April 13th, or University of Illinois at Chicago at, and Elmhurst College on Wednesday, April 19th. Go down to the counseling and advising office to learn more. And thinking of bringing a sweetheart from, from another school for prom, well, you need something first. Prom guest passes are now available down in the dean's office. They will be due April 13th with a photocopy of your guest ID or driver's license. All National English Honor Society members, please visit KK268 before school or between periods for information on spring service opportunities and hours. You must sign in on the attendance sheet and get an informational sheet by this Friday, March 24th. Coming up after the break, we tell you and how you can get involved with a very creative club. And we have your German fact of the day. Stay tuned. Kilwins, an immersive experience. The Viking Review is coming up and all talented students are welcome to audition. The auditions will be right after spring break, but in order to try it, you must talk to Mrs. Curtis in room C141. You only have a few days left to get your audition time, so make sure to talk to her before break. Anyone that is interested in the next Riot Club event at the Playhouse 38th Theater should email Mr. Woman by tomorrow. If you are interested in this battle of literature on April 7th, make sure you email Mr. Woman as soon as possible. It's the right thing to do. In honor of German Week here at GHS, we have a German fact of the day. The German language is spoken in many regions of Europe. It is the main language of approximately 100 million people, or 13.3% of all Europeans. German is also the second most spoken language in Europe. And speaking of German, German National Honor Society will be selling pretzels tomorrow morning in the cafeteria during PLC. The pretzels are $1.50 or $2 with cheese. And now for some news outside the halls. This year's lineup for the annual Lollapalooza was released earlier this morning. The headliners include Chance the Rapper, The Killers, Arcade Fire, and Muse, among many other artists. Yesterday, four-day passes for the festival sold out in only two hours and 24 minutes. The frenzy pace for purchasing the tickets will only continue today when one-day passes go on sale at 10 o'clock. A nationwide manhunt continues in the town of Keuka, Tennessee, for a teacher who was accused of kidnapping a 15-year-old student. This is just weeks after he was investigated for kissing the teen in his classroom. Chad Cummins, the teacher, and Elizabeth Thomas, the student, have been missing since, since March 13th. Cummins is believed to be armed and authorities are still looking for the two. A missile fired from North Korea exploded with yesterday within seconds of launch. U.S. officials confirmed that North Korea had attempted to launch a missile near Kalma, which is a town located on the east coast. Reports suggest that the missile failed. Information has not 
been released on what type of missile was fired or why it failed. However, the U.S. Pacific Command said they were working with partners to assess it further. And now here's Student L before we go. There will be another career cafe tomorrow during PLC. The deadline for the Northwestern Medicine Scholarships is in two days. And if you are interested in the next Ride Club event, please email Mr. Women by tomorrow. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Skylar Zimney. And I'm Aaron Hausigay. Have a great day, Geneva.